Hi there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Prestige Liquids. My name is Andrew and as always it is fantastic to have you here with me again on another whiskey review video. Now if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me. If you're new to the channel then make sure you hit that bell notification and the subscription button so that you can stay up to date with all future content. Now in um, today's video I'm going to be reviewing one of the latest releases from Starwood. Um, now as a lot of you would already be aware, Starwood is an Australian um, distillery located in uh, Melbourne, Victoria. They are easily one of my one of my favorite local distilleries and I'm very excited to be able to um, present these whiskies for you today. Uh, I've been very fortunate to be able to to get my hands on these. They are both a very limited run. This is part of their their small batch releases and these and, so, and let me introduce you. So that's um, these two little gems right here. So one of them is the, the mesquite um, smoked malt and the other one is the, the cherry wood smoked malt. This is the one that I'm going to be reviewing for you today. Um, this one I'll do in a few days time. Um, so definitely stay tuned um, for, that, um, for that coming review. Again, another good reason to subscribe. That way you know when it comes out. Uh, now I do have a Starwood playlist um, that, I, that features all of my Starwood reviews so I'll put an info card up there and a link in the description um, down below so that you guys can have immediate access to the rest of my Starwood reviews um, right after you finish with this one. So let's pour a little bit and I'll give a little bit of information about this. So. This has been bottled at 55% um, ABV. Um, the cherry wood release actually had a lot, um, it was a much smaller release than the mesquite. The mesquite release, I think, had, yeah, it was limited to 660 bottles. Um, this one, only 300, and it has already sold out. So, like I said, I was very lucky to. Um, to be able to get my hands on this one. I think when I got the email notification come up that it was um, that they were out I just jumped straight online and I was able to get both of them. So yeah, very happy about that um, One of the other things that I'm really excited about for this release is that um, instead of using like their standard red wine casks uh, Starwood have actually decided to use an Apera cask uh, for aging both uh, the cherry wood and the mesquite release as well. So again, I'm very excited about that um, The last time I had a different style of barrel release from Starwood um, that was their their bourbon cask finish and That one has easily been one of my favorite whiskies from Starwood to date um, So yeah, let's uh, let's get on with it. Um, I'm going to start um, giving you my notes for this so that's it, let's see. Welcome to the cherry wood smoked malt um, from Starwood. Let's see what we get. First of all, let me just point out that beautiful, just light golden color. Those of you who are familiar with um, Starwood would be more um, aware that a lot of their, their whiskies are generally like very red, a uh, deep red color um, for most instances and that is obviously because of their their red the red wine cask that they use um, for aging their whiskey now this one being a, an apera cask you can see it is a lot lighter and yeah you can look at that you can just see through it really really nicely it is such a beautiful amber color all right let's see on the nose what, what do we get okay so it is so smoky straight away. Um, sorry, <laughs> I've got some of that on my nose. <laughs> uh, just trying to dive into the glass too much. Yeah, so it, just imagine, it's like a, a smoke bomb, a sweet smoke bomb. It's nice and it's um, it has a nice certain like ashiness to it as well. It's very much like a, um, like a charcoal style of fire sweet i'm getting so apples pears bananas what else there's some other tropical fruits that are trying to to come through but that um 
yeah I'm definitely getting a hint of banana which is normally very characteristic of um, of starwood but funnily enough that is not the dominant feature of of this whiskey usually um, usually a lot of the starwood re starwood releases are very banana dominant this is a lot more subdued I'm getting hints of apricot honey fig a touch of strawberry as well it has a very nice soft um, strawberry sweetness But I keep coming back to that smoke. Um, as you get like these fruity notes that are, are coming through, you get this nice layering of smoke that is just constantly wafting through. That is absolutely beautiful. This is definitely one of those whiskies you can just keep nosing and you won't get sick of it. It's really, really good. All right, let's move on to the palette and let's see what we get. So cheers. So, you, oh man, this is amazing. You get a nice, initially the mouthfeel starts off soft and then you just build up to this really intense pepper. Um, nice, even thick mouth coating, lots of nice like alcohol tingles from that 55% ABV. But the first thing that you will notice when you swallow that first sip and like when you try to take a gasp of air, it's literally like you are sucking smoke down your throat. Um, it's a very dry whiskey, um, very ashy as well. That's definitely the first thing that you will notice is a lot of smoke, ash. And then as that, um, as and by ash, I'm referring more to actual, say, like wood ash, not like a, uh, like a cigarette ash type of thing. Um, now the fruits are starting to come through. Alright, so now that banana note that I was getting on the nose, I'm not picking that up at all anymore. Um, that has moved along now to more of those apricots, peaches, um, figs. It's very fruity. It's almost like a like a smoked jam. But I, I lo I'm really loving this uh, mouthfeel and the, um, the pepper that's coming through from this. I love a peppery whiskey. And this is hitting all those notes perfectly. Uh, I think this is a whiskey to say for all you peat heads out there. I think you will really enjoy this. Obviously, this is a, a non-peated whiskey, um, but it has been smoked from the um, the cherry wood. So if you enjoy a nice, say, like a typical smoky Lagavulin or an Ardbeg, I think this is definitely that's something that's going to be up your alley. Um, something that you would really really enjoy. I think this is At the moment one of the the closest things to like an Isla style Whiskey that I've had that's been uh, that from like an Australian made um, Whiskey just that um, that smoke influence is so well integrated into the like, Into the spirit. It is absolutely beautiful. The cask influence itself um, is it is balanced very well. It is not an overoaked whiskey. Um, so I'm trying to see when was this bottled. Unfortunately, I'm not too sure how old this is. Um, it was it was bottled in November last year, so 9th of the 11th, 2020. Uh, but it's not saying. Um, when it was distilled so I'm assuming it look it's at least two years old that things that is definitely for certain being an Australian whiskey um, but yeah I'm not sure of the exact age but coming back to that um, that barrel influence again it's just nice soft oak wood um, you're getting a little bit more of those like vanilla notes that come through 
and that is something that you'll pick up really at the um, at the end of the palette so initially you're gonna get hit with all those those nice heavy smoky ashy notes then come the fruits and uh, other sweetness as well then that fades into um, the oaky cask influence at the end moving along into the finish again it is very subtle um, surprisingly as well being bottled at 55 percent it does not have that typical burn or intensity that you would normally expect from a higher abv whiskey it is very gentle very smooth and you're just constant you're just getting these nice lingering smoky notes that just keep um, that just keep coming back up um, followed along with just nice subtle touches of vanilla and honey it just has this nice smoky sweetness that just keeps coming back again and again and again it has a very nice i guess like medium to long finish and i think all in all this is just a beautiful experience of a whiskey it is absolutely amazing um, i said at the start of the video that the starwood um, bourbon cask release had, was one of my favorite um, releases from starwood um, this is definitely up there with that um, say with that whiskey um, not just because of the flavor but i think also because of the experience that it had um, that it's given me as well and the journey that it's putting me on um, i so far at the moment i have only tried a little bit of the the mesquite um, i've really enjoyed this one so far as well but again i'm looking forward to really just diving into it and exploring what it has to offer I think now that I've got it opened, um, it will start to come into itself um, just as the, um, the cherry wood has. And I am really looking forward, as I mentioned, just to diving into that and seeing how, uh, how these are going to compare side by side. I think one thing that I'm going to have to do definitely will be like a, a live stream um, comparison between these two um, whether I do them blind or not I'm not too sure but um, I think I definitely need to um, I guess have a bit of a, a challenge of these two side by side on a live stream so again uh, as well as the review for the, the mesquite um, there's another reason to uh, I guess subscribe to the channel just to see what um, new things are coming up so all right that's it again uh, I don't really have anything else to say except that I just I am absolutely in love with this whiskey. It is it is absolutely brilliant. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, this is coming very early on at the moment, but I think this is definitely going to be uh, a, a higher contender for my um, Australian whiskey of the year. Um, but it is very early at the moment, so we'll see what the rest of the year has to offer. I'm sure we're going to be having some remarkable things coming out this year as we always do all right again don't forget to like comment subscribe uh, my name is andrew and i'll see you all again on the next video hit this